will teach Donald Trump a valuable lesson. Don't mess with the women on work. Uh, come again. The women on work. Sorry, can you repeat that one more time? The women on work. Uh, maybe a bit louder. The women on work. Your guess is as good as mine. The women on work. 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 Don't mess with the women on work unless you want to get the benefit. And the trained seals perform on command. What are you even applauding? The rapid advance of early onset dementia? <laughs> Somewhere in that garbled mess was the word women. The women are aware. Which is the only trigger they need. <laughs> women, okay, but what about women? Nothing specific, just women. Women! <laughs> Works every time, see? Women! <laughs> women! <laughs> women! <laughs> women! <laughs> But what about uh, w w w w w America? The men in America. Well, alongside Reagan's farewell address. The past few days, when I've been at that window upstairs, I've thought a bit of the shining city upon a hill. And FDR's response to Pearl Harbor. A date which will live in infamy. It's a quote that will go down in the annals of history. This is one of the funniest, but by no means the only example of what everyone has known for years. Biden's losing it. <laughs> uh, yeah. And how did the media respond to the overwhelming evidence that Biden is fast heading towards cognitive oblivion? By claiming it's Trump who's actually got major cognitive difficulties because he confused Nikki Haley with Nancy Pelosi. This is when Trump confused Nikki Haley for House Speaker Emerita Nancy Pelosi. On January 6th, you know, Nikki Haley, Nikki Haley is in charge of security. They then trotted out Democrat-supported, failed establishment Trump saboteur Nikki Haley to bolster the narrative. He says that I'm the one that kept security from Jan from the Capitol on January 6th. Don't be surprised if you have someone that's 80 in office. Their mental stability is going to continue to decline. Pelosi herself then steamed in. Donald Trump's uh, cognitive disorders. He tried to say that Nikki Haley did not allow the National Guard to come, but it was Nancy Pelosi. It was ne nobody. It was Joe. It was Donald Trump. Whoa, 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 hold up. Let's just hear that last bit again. It was Joe. It was Donald Trump. So Pelosi is saying Trump has cognitive disorders because he confused the name of two people one time. Right, so what you just did there then? It was Joe, it was Donald Trump. Glass houses, Nancy, glass houses. It's also interesting to see how this story played out in terms of left right media coverage. From Ground News, we learn that out of six news articles covering this story, and specifically Nancy Pelosi's response to it, all of them lean right or centre right. Given that the left appears to have a big blind spot on this issue, it appears they're less motivated to talk about it than you first expect. Perhaps knowing that wading into a debate about a cognitive comparison between Trump and Biden is never going to be a winning narrative. In fact, if you check out the Biden interest page on Ground News, the left is more likely to want to avoid talking about Biden at all, with just 26% of coverage emanating from left-wing sources. Gee, I wonder why that is. This is what makes Ground News' coverage so revealing in uncovering media bias and agenda. When it comes to breaking news and current events, Ground News is like the Rosetta Stone of breaking news and media. They provide non-partisan insight on media bias and favouritism that just can't be matched anywhere else. It's a core component of my daily news digest and that's why I urge you to check it out. And it's never before been a better time to become a subscriber by checking out ground.news slash pjw. They're now offering a huge discount, 40% off of the Vantage plan, which is the subscription I use, for just $5 a month. Or you can try their pro plan for less than $1 a month. See for yourself why I find Ground News so helpful and perceptive when crafting these videos. Please Please click the link in the description to check out ground.news slash pjw today. Senator Ted Cruz responded by calling for a Biden versus Trump cognitive test. Nikki is echoing that and they're doing it to defend Joe Biden. What I suggested in the podcast today, I said, all right, fine. I suggest this for the general election. Let's do a cognitive test. Joe Biden versus Donald Trump. The winner is president. I'm very happy to take those odds because Trump will whip Biden's oh, ass. And then to top it all off, as if it couldn't get even more absurd, the Biden campaign itself waded in. Posting this video montage. You have voter ID to buy a loaf of bread. You have, you have ID to buy a loaf of bread. What? What is... Veterans don't have cell phones, do they? He got confused. 
He got confused and said he was running against Obama. He never ran against Obama. And we did with Obama. We won an election that everyone said couldn't be won. Obama wants to, he doesn't want to talk about it. But you mean President Biden. So, uh... Don't put our country at risk like this. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. <laughs> I bet you do approve that oh message. God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's the best they could come up with. One of these things is not like the other. More than half of the women on the, in my administration are women. God. Yes, the same political establishment and regime media that will look the other way as retirement home ready Joe Biden hides in a basement. Barely emerges to do anything as president for weeks long stretches. Gives barely comprehensible speech after speech. Uh, co Koala. Or he struggles to even say simple words like women and America. Women and America. Blunders around on stage, falls over, while constantly getting lost and having to be retrieved by his carer. We'll sit there with a straight face and tell you Trump's the one with cognitive disorders. Donald Trump's uh, cognitive disorders. <laughs> I bet you do approve that oh message. And then wonder why no one trusts them, why they're having to lay off nearly half their employees, and why in many cases they're now being shut down completely. If you value what I do and you want to help support me, please visit pauljosephwatson.locals.com and either pledge a one-time donation or subscribe to join my community, get early access videos and message me directly. And exclusive live streams coming soon too. Promise. Check out the Locals link down in the description. And don't forget to take a look at the brand new website, modernity.news. That's where you'll find all my content, including exclusive articles. That's modernity.news.